Samuel Little, Georgia, 7 of June of 1940, is a rapist and serial killer of the United States. That killer at least 50 women between the year 1970 to 2005. The, mo the number, however, can go 90 after confession made by the criminal in prison. A former boxer, he is considered by the FBI greatest serial killer in the United States. He was definitely arrested in 2012 at the age of 72 years old and is serving a life sentence without the right to parody. Samuel Little Biograph. Samuel, or Simple Sam, was born in Hainaut, Georgia, but grew up in Lorraine, Ohio. He was raised by a grandmother and attended Hawthorne Junior High School. He was arrested for the first time in the early 1960 at the age of 21 years old for breaking and entering a crime for which he had also been charged for years early. He served a three-year sentence and after leaving he turned to commit crimes. Until he was definitely jailed, Little had been arrested a less a hundred times previously for crimes like kidnapping, raping, and arming robbery. Samuel killed a woman, almost all black woman, who we marginalized all in a vulnerable state. Many of them were prostitutes and users of drugs and or alcohol. Samuel Little Modus Operandi. Samuel found his victim usually in bar or even in the street. He would them young they trust by talking to them and offering them a right sometime or more than one occasion or one more than one day. In one of the deaths, he Kickers, he took the treatment to a isolated area, often driving on a dirt road, and committed the crime. First, he raped, and then he strangled. The victim they discarded the bodies in rivers, swamps, and other isolated areas. A former boxer, some of his victims we punched before being strangled. It's the last one of his victims. One day, alleged found in 1993 in Las Vegas, he said was killed in a motel. After which, they punched the body in the truck and discarded in holding down the bank in a remote area. The criminal used so much force that the that that he often broke the victim's spine by hitting him in the abdomen, according to BBC. In one case Little described meeting a young black transsexual named Marianne or Marianne in Miami, Florida in the early 1970. He said he killed the 19 old years in a garage near a sugar plantation. Sugar and dragged the body into a swamp area. In another case, Little detailed how he strangled a woman in 1993 in a motel in Las Vegas. He remembered mainly his son before that in ever shocking his hand. After killing her, he drove the old clerks of the city 
and drew his body into a root, wrote the BBC. Do you believe that several of his vitamin body have never been found? Samuel Little Motivation. Uh, according to Procedure Beth Silverman, the crime is weird, sexually motivated. However, Little Dennis and take off fence and bang Keller the Bad Pist. Auto investigator found the semen in the body on clothes of the his Whitman. According to FBI website, Samuel claimed Whitman in the states of Arizona, Arkansas, California, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Nevada, Ohio, Tennessee, Texas, and Washington. According to the police, he shows no remorse in speaking with excitement about his crime and lauding when he remembers these details. He is a charismatic psychopath, according to the description of some researchers. Police officer Crystal LeBlanc said, "Good made me this way, so why should I ask for forgiveness? God knew everything I did. For many years he believed he would never be arrested, the police said. Samuel Little Prison. Little, who had an extensive criminal record, including convicted for armed robbery and rape, was arrested at age 72 years old in 2012 in Kentucky for involvement with drugs. From there, he was sent, sent to the California where police officers carry out DNA testers that linked him to three insolvent murders between 1987 and 1989 in Los Angeles County. He pleaded not guilty but was sentenced, in, sentenced to life in prison in 2004 with the chance of parole without. The police initially linked him to 50 murders but in prison he said he was the author of the Another 43, the Thailand several of these crimes. He even drew the face of a several of this possible victim. It is scary the clarity he has about certain things after out the t this time. He remembered names of faith, said policeman Michael Margeluso. On October 7, 2009, the FBI sued in an official statement saying that the, he was the greatest serial killer in the United States and that all his confessions are credible. Month earlier, the agents had released the drawing he made in prison in an attempt to identify more his victims.